Today we're diving into the ultimate escapade, a campervan ski trip to the breathtaking mountains. Picture this, crisp mountain air, powdery slopes and the freedom of the open road. If it's something that's on your bucket list, keep watching and we'll share our top tips for making it comfortable, safe and enjoyable. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. If you're thinking of making a winter trip to the mountains next year in your camper van or motorhome, then I'd say get on and do it. But before you rev up your engine, let's make sure you're fully prepared for the journey ahead. From packing essentials to navigating snowy terrain, we've got you covered with all the hints and tips you need to make your mountain touring experience unforgettable. Plus, we'll share some top choices of European resorts that are easily drivable from the UK with good options to stay even if you're just on a week's break. So buckle up and let's hit the slopes. Before embarking on your campervan ski trip, think about your potential routes and destinations. Research ski resorts, camping spots and scenic routes along the way. Ensure your chosen roads are accessible and safe for campervans, especially during winter months, and consider the cost of motorway tolls and vignettes, especially if your van is over three and a half ton. Google Maps is a great easy way to check routes, but remember it doesn't take into account height or weight restrictions, so you may want to use one of the sat-nav apps that take these into account, which we tried out in the video linked here and in the video notes. The Park for the Night app is a great solution for finding stopovers on the way or locations to stay in at resort. We'll share our top picks of options later in the video. But whilst having a plan is useful, due to variable snow conditions you may want to have a few options up your sleeve. Whether you have an off-the-shelf camper or one you've converted yourself, it's probable that you'll need to make a few changes to keep it comfortable and safe in a winter mountain environment. First, we need to keep warm, so insulation is a good thing. We add extra layers to our floor, which can get very cool, and particularly under our lithium battery, which we need to make sure stays above 0 degrees to keep charging. As keeping ourselves warm is key to comfortable stay, as well as our LPG heater, we also have our portable diesel heater as a backup, and for when we're on hookup, a small oil-filled radiator. As our water tanks are external and could easily freeze, we drain them down and use internal water containers with a USB powered tap. Keeping everything fueled is obviously important, so keeping track of our actual LPG we have in our refillable tank via our Mopeka Bluetooth gauge helps us plan when we need to refill. And we have a backup 13kg caliper cylinder we can switch to if we can't easily get to refill it. We use our Roma lithium battery for the 12 volt systems, running fridge, TV, router, lights and charging our devices. This is recharged from the 480 watt solar panel on the roof and an important thing to remember to do is to keep the panel clear of snow. So a telescopic ladder, an extendable scraper stroke brush is an essential. We use our AFRI P210 2000 watt hour power station for mains power for our coffee machine, induction hobs, kettle and microwave. But it also has a pretty unique feature when it comes to portable power stations. A 25 amp 12 volt output. Which means, should we need to, we can power the 12 volt system from it. We use a 200 watt folding solar panel with it and with the low winter sun we often find these perform better than the flat 480 watt on the roof because of the angle we can set them to. Even when we have mains hookup we still use the power pack for cooking just using the hookup for heating. One for the environmental reasons and second as more sites move to metered electricity it reduces what we have to spend. As a final backup we also carry a small portable petrol generator 
but we very rarely need to use it. And if we do, we're very careful to be conscientious to others. Having these quite expensive items outside around the van can be a worry, but recently we've been using Carlock's new wireless vibration sensors that pair with the Carlock Tracker GPS. So, not only do we have peace of mind that we'll get notifications if the van is tampered with, but also if any of our valuable gadgets are. Standard, the GPS tracking system works throughout Europe and wider. You can check out our full review of the system and the sensors in the links in the video notes. Now, back to our ski trip. Stay vigilant of the weather forecasts and road conditions throughout your journey. Mountain weather can be unpredictable, with sudden snowstorms and icy roads posing significant challenges. Plan your travel days accordingly, allowing extra time for potential delays. Drive cautiously, especially on winding mountain roads, and adhere to speed limits. In addition to the normal items required to drive legally in other countries, you will need either all season or winter tyres showing the three mountain peak snowflake symbol or to carry snow chains. And if anyone tells you you don't need to carry all this stuff, here is us getting stop checked by the German Polizei. In addition to what is legally needed, we also carry some traction aids, a snow shovel and a good towing strap for if we do get stuck. Safety considerations don't only apply to getting here. If you're new to skiing or boarding, here are some important things to think about. The Piste Cross Code is great for both kids and adults to understand how to be safe on the slopes. And taking some ski or boarding lessons will always make your first time on the slopes a lot more pleasurable. Whether you're on a designated campsite, stopover or camping wild where this is allowed, it's important to have consideration for others and the environment. Respect campground rules and regulations to preserve the natural beauty of mountain landscapes, dispose of waste properly, minimise noise pollution and avoid disturbing wildlife. Be considerate of fellow campers and maintain a clean, tidy campsite throughout your stay. Leave no trace behind and leave the environment as you found it. So, where should you go? Well, here's a quick rundown of a few top choices. Port de Soleil region in France is 8-10 to 10 hours from Calais, mostly motorway with some easy mountain roads to get to the main resorts. There are airs in Morzine and Leger, both with water fill up and emptying facilities, and if you want to get higher you can park in the car park at the Avorias resort, but this doesn't have facilities. A short distance away is the smaller ski area of Pradelis. This has a very large air with facilities. A similar distance from Calais are the Paradise Ski Resorts of La Plagne and Les Arcs. These are higher resorts so can be more snowshore. The Hutopia campsite in Borg Saint Maurice is a popular choice having links to Les Arcs, and La Plagne has its own air, which unlike many others is partially pre-bookable, though it does get booked up fast. Another popular choice is Les Minuaires in the Three Valleys ski area. Again, this has a large air with facilities. A slightly longer trip gets you to the Via Latia ski area on the French-Italian border. The resort of Mont Genevier has a popular air. We've just returned from the Austrian ski veld and the resort of Sol, where you can stay in the lovely Franzelhof campsite with luxury facilities. Alternatively, there is a motorhome Stellplatz in nearby Kufstein, which is only a 20 minute drive to the Sol lift station where you can park for free during the day. And there you have it, my ultimate guide to conquering a camper van ski trip in the mountains. With careful planning, a sense of adventure and a dash of courage, you're bound to create unforgettable memories on this snowy escapade. So get yourself ready for what could be the journey of a lifetime. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.